we, every so often we get these voicemails from some whatever ministries, you know, Hak Flem Ministries calls us, promoting, you know, some Jewish rabbi. They call him a Jewish pastor, you know, and I guess he's different. He's, he, you know, he's got, they say, you know, he's a Christian Jewish pastor, like he's a Jew that became a Christian. I don't know. I've never called him back, but I, from, they call like every few months and they don't call us by name. They just say, dear pastor, you know, former rabbi, Jewish pastor, a lot of, you know, oy vey wants to come and would speak to your congregation. And I want to call him back and say, well, we already got a Jewish pastor. Did you guys know you have a Jewish preacher? You got a Jewish preacher right here. We got a Jewish pastor up in Tempe. I got a Jewish congregation. I don't need some guy with, you know, wearing a funny hat and long hair on the, you know, on the sides of his head to come in here and try to get me to put a shawl on my head or, you know, wear dangly things from my waistbands or whatever, put ribbons of blue on my garments. I don't need any of that. I don't need some guy to come in here and try to Judaize me in this congregation. I already am the Jew. That's what the Bible says. I mean, we just read it. He says in Galatians 3, Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Look, if you're born again, if you're of faith, you're God's child. You are the child of Abraham. 